I hope now you remember yesterday's topic. We proceed with relations and functions. We were talking about equivalence relation, relations which are reflexive, symmetric, and transitive are equivalence relations. Relations which are reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Be careful, let us take a few more questions in that regard. This was yesterday's question, homework question. Uh, I told I will be taking up once again. If all of you have done it, I can skip. Can you go for it? A B related to C D. It is from N cross N to N cross N. The domain is N cross N. Co domain is also N cross N. A B related to C D. If A D into B plus C equal to B C into A plus C, show that R is an equivalence here. For reflexivity, we have to show A B related to A D. A B related to C D is possible. If AB, AB into B plus A equal to BA into A plus B. Well, AB into B plus A is BA into A plus B. That is true. The understanding the relation AB related to CD, if AB into AD into B plus C equal to BC, BC into A plus B. It is true, AB related to AB. AB into B plus A, AB into B plus A equal to BA into A plus B. So both are same. Well, AB into B plus A equal to BA into A plus B, which is true, right? AB related to AB is true for all. AB belongs to B. So the relation is reflexive. Okay? Proximity, AB related to CD, we suppose. Suppose AB related to CD. We have to show CD related to AB. AB related to CD means AD into B plus C equal to BC into A plus B. CD related to AB is possible. CB into B plus A, CB into B plus A equal to DA into A plus B and DA into C plus B. Now you can see both are same. CB into D plus A, if you read from here, CB into D plus A equal to DA into C plus B is here, DA into C plus B. So AB related to CD and CD related to AB are same. That means, this explained here, AB related to CD, AD into B plus C equal to BC into A plus B. BC into A plus B is here, AD into B plus C is same. So CD related to AB is also possible that means when a b related to c d we get a d into b plus c equal to b c into a plus b that is as good as c b into d plus a equal to b a into c plus b that means c d related to a b so that the relation is symmetric so it is flexible and symmetric now for transitivity well i go for simplifying the relation a little more that will be more comfortable for us. We look at the relation once again. What do you mean by AB related to CD? AD into B plus C equal to BC into A plus B. Now, here, if I divide both sides with ABCD, divide both sides with ABCD, what do we get? AD into B plus C upon ABCD equal to BC into A plus B upon ABCD. Here, AD cancels B plus C upon BC. Here, BC cancels. A plus B upon AD. What is B plus C upon BC? It is nothing but 1 by C plus 1 by B. And what is A plus B upon AD? A plus B upon AD, that is 1 by D plus 1 by A. Or that is as good as 1 by A minus 1 by B equal to 1 by C minus 1 by D. That means I am going to rewrite the relation AB related to CD if 1 by A minus 1 by B equal to 1 by C minus the relation is now quite simple. From here, we can easily find the transitivity. AB related, now for transitivity, we suppose AB related to CD and CD related to EF. AB related to CD means 1 by A minus 1 by B equal to 1 by C minus 1 by D. Okay? 1 by A minus 1 by B equal to 1 by C minus 1 by D. Right? 
1 by c minus 1 by d is same here. So 1 by a minus 1 by equal to 1 by e minus 5. This is as good as b related to f because a 1 by a minus 1 by b equal to 1 by e minus 1 by f means a b related because a b related to c d is 1 by a minus 1 by b equal to 1 by c. What I did is that the relation I simplified, I divided both sides into three bits. There is a comfortable proof for that. Hence, R is transitive, and from one to one three, the R relation R is an equivalence relation. Well, the non unit of revision, let us go for a few more questions. I'm just picking up two questions here. One, R from relation, this is relation R, this is set of real numbers. R from R to R, R equal to set of A, B such that A less than equal to B squared, where R is set of real numbers. Another one is R from R to R, so that R equal to set of A, B such that A minus B plus root 3 is uh, an irrational number. Where S is set of rational numbers. Well, I'll come back to question number two. Later, let us take up question number one. R from R to R, R equal to set of A, B such that A less than or equal to B squared where R is a set of real numbers. First of all, is it reflexive? That means, is it true that A less than or equal to S squared is true for all real numbers? A less than or equal to S squared is true for all real numbers. What is your opinion? I want the answer from your side. Is it reflexive? A less than or equal to S squared, is it true for all real numbers? Well, no answer from your side. I think I must go for my answer. Yes. Okay. Is it true for all real numbers? Is it true for all real numbers? No. No, no, what? no. Half less than or half squared is not true. You can go for various examples. You can take a negative number. Negative number, it is true. But positive numbers, there are half less than or half squared is not true. We take minus half and minus half squared, that is true, but half and half squared is not. Well, to show it is not reflexive, produce one example, hence R is not reflexive. Okay. Go for symmetry. Is it true that A less than equal to B squared implies B less than equal to S squared for all A and B? It is more simple. It is not true because you can see very simply 2 less than equal to 5 squared, but 5 less than equal to 2 squared is not true. We can take any example 2 less than equal to 10 squared, 10 less than equal to 2 squared is not. True. So many examples. One example will show that R is not symmetric. So it is neither flexible nor symmetric. Now the question is that is it transitive? That is, A less than equal to B squared and B less than equal to C squared implies a less than equal to c squared. Is it true? Again, you have to answer. Is it true? It is not true because, can you give example? Can you give example? a less than equal to b squared and b less than equal to c squared where a less than equal to c squared is not true. Well, I give example. Come on here. 10 less than equal to 5 squared and 5 less than equal to 3 squared. But 10 less than equal to 3 squared. Uh, uh, less than or equal to. Just take it. Uh, less than or equal to. You take less than or equal to. I missed that. 10 less than or equal to 5 squared. 5 less than equal to 3 squared. And, uh, but 10 less than or equal to 3 squared is not true. Hence, R is not trans. Make the correction less than or equal to. Next not. Okay, it is not transitive. It is neither reflexive nor symmetric nor transitive. Now let me take up a question which is a little more complicated. Remember, these were board questions. This very question was asked some two, three years back. Relation R from R to R, where R equal to set of A B such that A minus B plus root B is a, an irrational number. Capital S standing for set of irrational numbers. First of all, reflexivity. Is it reflexive? A, A related to A. It is from R to R. 
For any real number a, a related to a, a minus a plus root 3, yeah, it is an irrational number, true. Transitivity is quite obvious. For any a in R, we get a minus a plus root 3, which is nothing but root 3, which is an irrational number. So a, a is a member of R, and the relation is reflexive. The relation is reflexive. What about symmetry? That is now question to you. Is it true that? Is it true that when AB belongs to R, that is A minus B plus root 3 is a member of S, or A minus B plus root 3 is an irrational number. Are you sure B minus A plus root 3 is an irrational number? If yes, you have to prove. If no, give an example. Your response. A minus B plus root 3 is an irrational number. Are you sure B minus A plus root 3 is an irrational number? If no, give an example. Well, I think I'm not getting a response from you. Is it true? In fact, not true. Why? Because look at root 3 0 is a member of R because root 3 minus 0 plus root 3, which is 2 root 3, which is a member of S. But 0 root 3 is not a member. Why? 0 minus root 3 plus root 3 is not an irrational number. The relation is not symmetric. The relation is not symmetric because only one example will show it is not symmetric. Root 3 0 is a member. Instead of root 3 0, you can take root 3 1, root 3 2, and its second component is any rational number of first component is root 3. The relation is not symmetric and hence it is not a symmetric. Now comes transitivity. Suppose AB is a member of R and BC is a member of R. That is A minus B plus root 3 is an irrational number and B minus root C plus root 3 is an irrational number. We have to show A minus C plus root 3 is a member of S so that AC is a member of R. Your question, is it true? Is it true for all A, B, C? If no, give an example. This is the place where you have to work with your pen and paper. Anyway, our time is running out, so I have to give the answer. Is it true? Or can you give an example, counter example? Or can you say yes, then we go for it? The answer, of course, is no. But example, anyone can bring an example? I'll give the example. Come on. Root 3, 0 is a member because root minus 0 plus root 3 is a rational number. 0, 2, root 3 is again a member of R. 0, 2, root 3. Why? 0 minus 2, root 3 plus root 3 is a member of R. What is 0 minus 2, root 3 plus root 3? It is minus root 3, which is an error. What about root 3, comma 2 root 3? It is not a member of R because root 3 minus 2 root 3 plus 3 is 0. It is not a member of R. So this relation is not transitive. Very good example, very good problem. Not uh, uh, so simple. It is not quite obvious. But you have to work out. Be careful. You have to sit and work out further. Well, I am presenting three questions which you have to work out. One is in the same line again. Relation from R to R, R is equal to set of A, B, C, that A less than or equal to B, C, where R is set of real numbers. Whether the relation is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Second one is. R from n to n, R equal to set of x, y such that x plus y less than or equal to x1. x plus y less than or equal to x1. And the third one is R from R to R, R where R equal to set of a, b such that a, b plus 1 more than x. Get to sit and do. Get to sit and do. Well, we are coming close to 
another topic one more day i'll pick up with this equivalence relations and by that we'll go for the main topics of the problem. topics function okay get along work out this homeworks assignments we'll meet back tomorrow oh,